Then he hands me this. I didn't expect it to look like this. This is completely new, yeah? I've never seen anything like this. All right, y'all, we just made it to the Ely Callaway Performance Center. Again, big shout out Callaway. The partnership coming up on the past year has been absolutely phenomenal with them. But we're here today to get fit for their new clubs coming out. Don't get me wrong, I love what I got, but there's always progress, there's newer, there's better, and I think that's what Callaway has in store for us today. I'm excited, this place looks sweet. I've never been here before. I always get nervous on fittings because I'm worried I'm gonna like not hit it very well. I'm not gonna actually get a good fitting, so I'm not really nervous, but I'm hoping I'm hitting it good so I can get a nice, solid fitting. What's up, boys, how you doing? Doing all right, how are you? I'm Bobby. Oh. How you doing, Brett? Nice to meet you. This is dope. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Absolute beauty. Oh, I'm so excited for these. I'm literally, I'm literally so excited. Oh my goodness, dude. Yo, 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 yo. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. Dude, the grass is green. It's actually looking pure. We're getting fit today. We're getting fit today and I'm really excited. I'm excited to get into the new clubs, see the new Callaway clubs, feel the new Callaway clubs. Speaking of fit, you got right, that old like fit on. I do, but I got the new underneath. It matches. So, it matches. No See that? Yeah. The holiday drop coming soon, the winter. Guys, before we go on with the rest of today's video, holiday drop, good, good holiday drop, October 19th at 9 a.m. Stay tuned for it if you guys want to get your hands on this sexy apparel right up there. 9 a.m. Yeah, we have the crew next, as you guys know, goodgoodgolf.com. Get it while it's here, while supplies last. If they're gone, you can't get it. That's so, it. Yeah, that's how it works. How are you doing? Jacob. Yeah, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Absolutely. In today's video, it's gonna be more of a highlight reel of everyone's fittings because everyone's kind of going at the same time. And in order to like, honestly, if you guys sat out here and watched an extended cut of us getting fit, it would probably be like a two hour video or something crazy. How mad would you be if I hit the drone? It's Colin's drone. Just, I don't think he'd care. I think he'd be, it's worth it. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I think he'd like it. He needs a new one anyway. <laughs> Does he actually? Yeah. Is it Collins or is it good good? It's Collins. He's smiling. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> all right, honestly, I'm obviously we're all doing iron fitting, but I'm thinking of going like pretty much full on MBs, so basically blades. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the blades probably. I'm maybe like my three iron, maybe four iron, we'll go with the pros. A little, little fatter sole, a little bit more forgiving, but I just love how the blades look. Yeah, me and Corey here are working on revamping the bag today. <laughs> we had the, uh, trying to figure it all out. So we're starting with the irons. Just hit a couple swings with it so far, but we're trying to See kind of how the numbers compare to the right and distance little... isn't a concern. It's more exactly. the consistency of that distance. Exactly. So the one yeah. problem I did see sometimes was hit a shot well, it might go okay, so it might just be five to eight yards further, but when you're trying to hit into a small green or something that could be obviously a huge huge deal from 190 yards out. So trying to get you know, if it's the same strike both times, trying to get that number to be within a few yards of each other instead of you know eight yards separate. Trying to hit the middle of the green a lot more often. Look, sound, feel of that iron? How's Feels that? Feels really good. Okay. And I like the look of it too. You like the shape of it too? Yeah. Okay. It's definitely not what, like when I was looking at it from here, it doesn't look like what you kind of would think it would. I, I thought it was gonna be a little more thicker. We're going through some of the, obviously, the new iron fittings. We're just kind of talking about uh, shafts right now for me. That's the biggest thing. So right now I'm in the 105s. Uh, graphite shafts, but I think we're gonna move it up just a little bit. Um, we're gonna go up to like the 120 and that should help with my spin and maybe my launch angle and some, and some of those sort of things. So I still want to stick in graphite. I still want to stick in graphite shafts, I think. But I think we might have to go up just a little bit, have a little heavier weighted so that I can have my distance control be a little better and my speed be a little better. Good luck, huh? We made the whole quiver of the new ones. Let's go! Let's hit these, yeah. Yeah. The Axiom. So let's hit one of these in here, I think he said, is the Buck 25. It's the extension of their Ventus. All right, let's try this one. Moved up a little bit, a little heavier, 125 instead of 105. That was hit pretty well. That was nice. That was five iron carried, 200. Launched at 14, 5300. So even that, that Apex Pro, I don't know, I'm not sure what, what G has that loft, but that's even coming off in a good range for a five iron. So It feels great. 
working through the pros and the CBs right now. We're starting the fitting uh, progress right now. I'm here with my guy Sean. Yo. He got me set up last year. Love the paradigms and the apexes. This year we got the CBs, you said. CBs, just like the TCBs from uh, 2021. I'm gonna call them the TCBs. Okay. Well, my initials are thing. TCB, so it's easy to remember. <laughs> I'm late, look at this man, dude. <laughs> What's your workout pro program, dog? I'm just bulking up a little bit. Hitting 3,500 calories a day, so. Oh, wow, look mm -hmm. at you, dude, looking mm -hmm. good. I'm trying to be like you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. 135, 186. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, dude, it's a dangerous game when you start showing me numbers, bro. <laughs> I just wanna go. Yeah, that's about right with this one because it was with the yeah. paradigms I was carrying at like 197, 198. This yeah. one I like more like I'm willing to give up when I that's why I made the switch, give up like five to seven yards an iron yeah. just for a little more consistency. A lot of club at speed, 102. 139, 192. 192 okay. carat there, 140 See, balls. I like you, dude. He always hypes me up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always hypes to get, me up. To get these yeah, numbers right. is unreal. To get Thank 140 with a 7 yeah. iron. Yeah. Thank you, dog. I mean, so tour average right now is like 130, 132-ish. How's it going so far? Good. I'm getting getting refitted. We're figuring some stuff out. Last time I got fitted, I was not as good. Like, I was hitting shanks, and I haven't hit one yet. So this is going to be a good fitting. I just kind of, last time I just kind of got these clubs, and I figured out how to use them. This time, the clubs are figuring out how to use me, right? I was either going to go with uh I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> that was off. Yeah. That still feels good. Still feels good? Yeah. All right, let's get into my fitting. What do you need from me? Just keep banging balls. Okay, cool. You like a little right to left? Preferred or? Straight. I mean, fade, it doesn't matter. Whatever I got on any given day. For you, going with TCB over MB last year, what made you do that since you like blades so much? The blades were digging more. Okay. And I think it was also because last year I was a little steeper okay. in general. So you shallowed out a little bit now. I think my swings improved a decent amount, okay. but I like the way these go through the turf and they also feel, they don't feel too bulky. So they're still similar to a blade. Yeah. Ooh, got a new drop on. New drop, baby. New winter drop. Holiday drop. I'm not really sure what we're calling it, but it's coming. It's Have you coming. changed anything up today with the clubs, or I don't know. I think I'm just shafts are going to stay the same. I think it's going to be pretty simple there. As far as what clubs I get, I'm not really sure. I think we're going to test some things out. We might do a mixed bag. Might do some blades and then mix it up. Who knows? A little thin. Yeah. Almost hit that bird too. Yeah, that would have been bad. Little thin. What's uh, stock carry? Seven, Seven iron. 185 maybe? 180? I don't know. What are we getting? That was 78. Yeah, that, was, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Let me hit. Let me hit one good, and we'll see if it's 185. Should be it right there. Might be longer than 185. That one was 84 on that one. 84? Okay. That felt more smoked. Yeah, it's money. 14 and a half launch, 72. Coming down 49 and a half. Yeah. Are you playing X golf floor? Or are you playing LS? X. Okay. My thing is like, I like more spin. I'm kind of weird yeah. like that. I like being able to control it. Yeah. So I mean, if you're good. playing a golf ball that goes high with a, a ton of spin on it, so right. It's just a matter of yeah. If you want to hit it high, hit it low. Yeah, spin yeah. On. Keep hitting. Uh, one more, and I'll have you hit the new CB. Cool. Yeah, money right there. Yeah, that felt nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, this might be the one, folks. I already love it. Whew. That ball was launched. What was that? 88. Felt less spinny. Yeah. Yeah, that was 63 on that one. Is that shaft related? No, it's same shaft, X1. Okay. That's it right there. Yeah, that's our number. First impression look-wise look good? Love it. I won't do blade. I'll get this. Okay. I already know. Yeah, like as soon as I looked at it, I was like, so excited to yeah, show the, the camera. Th the th yeah, the thing with MB this year is, I mean, if you're a little bit shallower, you might take to it a little bit better because right. you might have that same issue of them digging a little bit too much. Yeah. But these, we already know it's pretty much I mean, plug and play. And yeah, this is like, I think it's a no brainer. This is what I want. A little thin. Not really. Maybe a hair. Yeah, you still got it. Yeah, pretty good. I just didn't. I was more shallow. Yeah. 
Well, I, I'm just getting started. We just like first shots with uh, the new club. So he started me on the pro first, but I don't think that's, I think we're going to end up on the CB with the pro combo is what we, we've kind of initially talked about. Right now he's working on my lie angle because we're trying to figure out, I, I hit a little bit of a right shot and we think it's, I'm com I need to move it upright, I think is what he said. So I'm, I'm learning today. Colin Ross vlogs. Oh, I towed it. Towed it a little 106 bit. 106 club though. I'm gonna swing like a driver now. See what the ball speeds out. 138. All right, if I don't tow it, I got it, dude. Oh, it's gonna be close. I'm doing the math right now in my head, looking at it. Go, go. 139. Oh. We're happy with that though. We're oh, we'll, that. we'll take that. We'll, we'll take that. <laughs> kind of breaking this down, if you remember from last time, right? Yes, we like to look at head speed, ball speed. So head speed, you're roughly about 102, 101. Solid swing, the extra stiff is a perfect shaft for you right now. Those dynamic golds. Ball speed, that's just basically telling me how fast the ball comes off the face. And so those two being talked about, we like to look at efficiency, also known as smash factor. So your smash is roughly around 1.34, 1.36. That's usually a roughly around 93, 94%. Okay. That's how we calculate that as we take head speed or ball speed, divide that by head speed, and that's gonna produce 1.34. Now what I'm trying to tell you is 1.34, 1.36, Solid smash. Yes, so he's dead center of the face. So as a fitter, we like to look at your backspin. Backspin, you're at 7,200. For the head speed of like that, we want us to keep it anywhere between 61 and 7,000 for a seven iron. Okay. You're at 72 only because one, golf ball. What I was telling before, Chrome Soft X, most skinny golf ball, yeah. BLS. We'll probably talk. Once you get the Chrome Soft X LS in your hand, we'll probably take about three to 400 RPMs off. Okay. So, so far your spin is looking solid. I mean, you're in a really good spot as far as loft and an iron, but let's take a look at some of the Pro Series because the lofts are a little bit higher. I'm excited to see them. They're, they're pretty solid. I'm excited to see them. No, no, really, really solid. Um, other cute feet, key windows for you too is one, to angle of attack, you are five degrees down. So what that will do is produce yeah. a lower launch, higher spin. That's why we're seeing spin a lot higher. And also your launch at 14.8, because anywhere you want to keep it between 15 and 22 degrees of launch, but keeping steeper will produce your launch a little bit lower. Okay. But Bubs, a lot of good numbers here. From our, so let's just see if we can kind of see some comparisons, see if we start to see things tone up a little bit more and get some more control in our hands. Let's so do it, let's do this thing, man. Let's do it, dude. Cool. Getting the irons dialed in. So we're, I'm not worried about how far the iron goes. I'm just worried about the consistency. And that's just the one thing I want to focus on is if I hit one shot where I turn down the club a little bit, maybe hit a little pull draw, trying to get that thing maybe go like three or four yards farther instead of eight to 10 yards farther. Getting pretty dialed in though. Hitting, I think the last eight shots of the eight iron, of that seven iron have been within like the 185, 188 numbers. Pretty, pretty consistent so far. Now we're just trying to fine tune it a little bit and I think we're getting pretty close though. Uh, I'm not telling you what I'm doing, I'm just seeing how you react. Okay? Like Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not that guy that's like, oh yeah, I'm yeah. not tell anybody. I just want to see how you as a good player, mm -hmm. right, kind of react to the head. This one longer? Yep. Okay. I was about to say. So 138. I think I launched. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a huge difference, but it's just yeah. enough to notice. Kind of felt like I had to stand a little bit further away from it. See, that's the type of shot that I feel yep. like would have gone about, would have gone further with the old irons. And that one went same distance as the last two. The irons felt nice. Got the. CBs they feel solid. They look good. So we're keeping the same shaft. So the X100s that I had my old irons. We're actually adding a half an inch to it. Uh, it just feels a little more comfortable on setup, and I actually gained a little bit of distance. Which, again, I'm not worried about gaining distance, but it was actually I gained probably six yards. A little bit longer on the club, on the lengthwise. Yeah, the iron just feels amazing. Every shot I'm hitting. Obviously, there's a few unsolved ones that don't quite come out the same, but every good shot I hit is coming out same window, um, same trajectory, same shape basically every time, and they're all landing within two or two yards of each other. Obviously there's gonna be miss hits, there's gonna be really bad shots hit sometimes, but if it's a good solid shot, it should be going about the same distance every time. And that's what I've been seeing so far. I think we just found a new winner. Cause I literally, I put up the, the CV to the camera, I was like, oh, I'm getting this. Then he hands me this. I didn't expect it to look like this. This is completely new, yeah? I've never seen anything like this. Hit the MB the first time, and I mean, the numbers don't lie. It's a higher launch. Is a lower spin around the same spin? Slightly less. Yeah, slightly less spin, yeah. higher launch, going a little bit further, which I like that. And overall, it feels more consistent. So this might be the choice of, of club here. Would you think about doing a mixed set, like six 
Yeah. Six and five would be, we just say, yeah, four, five. Six through, six through pitching wedge in those and four and five in the CB. Yeah, yeah. Because the CBs performance-wise aren't that much different than what you got in your hand. Can I see a five and four in, in the CB and go from there? Because I think I'm committed to this. Yeah, because this, yeah, I, I won't want this in a four. This is too blady for me. Yeah, I can't get up to that and be like, oh, I'm going to flush this. I mean, well, <laughs> wow, that's probably going a mile too. That's that. Okay, fair enough. That ball is crunched. That was pummeled, and I felt like I just. All right, here's the five, the CB. Yeah. 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 Two. We have a winner. Yeah. Four five. I think four or five. Yeah. Can I see what a six looks like in the MB, M MB just yeah. to see if it's what is that? Whoa, that was a five in that one. Two twenty seven. I think you have plenty of gas to hit that in six hanging. Yeah, here. easy. Yeah. Two, around the number. I mean, what else do we need to do? I think we have our decision. We're gonna. Hey, now we're gonna go check in on some other people. I hey, let's let me give a little rundown real quick. A little different than what you're playing now. Yeah. So we're gonna do. Top of the bag, three iron, so it's mm -hmm. going to replace your 22 degree UT tour head. So that's going to be basically your new driving iron, you t whatever you want it to use it for. Right. Go a little bit further than what you're using now. Four or five iron, we're going to be using the CB. Yeah. A tad bit more forgiveness, top of the bag for you. Right. I love but it. But six down, ball striker paradise right there, MB. Mm. Easy. Dude, this right here, the second I hit this club, I fell the in love. second you looked at it. Yeah, the second I looked at yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Dude, I'm pumped. I'm awesome. pumped to get the new X1. Iron. Awesome. Money. Thank you. Anytime. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then get some wedges. Yeah. Cool. So, bud, what we got here is the Apex Pro, my friend. Um, so, I'm not sure if you tried the Pros last time when you are here, but this is just a more refined, refurbished head. 33 degrees aloft. So, what you have right now is 31. This is 33. Okay. Could see launch come up a little bit. Spin okay. may come up as well, but we're trying to tone back on distances, right? And what's cool about this head is it doesn't have face cup technology. So we're not trying to see flyer. Because in the Apex 21s, you do have face cup. It's a 450 face cup, which will again, may produce a little more of that flyer shot. Yeah. So in the seven iron, we will not see it. It only has in the four iron and the five iron. That's so face cup technology. Correct. Five. Yes, okay. correct. So without further ado, let's have you hit some shots. So this is a new ball game for me. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's fun, bro. <laughs> Smash at 1.35. This thing is beautiful, dude. Yeah. Spin got down to 69. Spin's a little more down. Your side spin just came up a little bit more because when you have a little more side spin going to the left, you're going to yes. dynamically take some spin off. But ultimately, that looking pretty solid, right? A 197 iron? Oh, yeah. I can play with that all day, dude. Absolutely. I'm happy with that. That's it. It's the biggest thing, bro. It's like sometimes I get in the rough. Yeah. We're playing scrambles a lot. You get a nice fluffy lie. Yeah. You just hit those shots, like sometimes seven iron will just go 215, 220 out the rough. Gone. So if this can kind of like negate yes. that flyer, that would be huge, dude. That's Cause that, that's a couple strokes right there. A hundred percent. My wedge game ain't the best, so. so. And that's the goal, right? Without the face cut, with a little bit more loft, trying to tone things back, like to reduce your ball speed just a little bit. And I know you like ball speed, but if you can tone it back a little bit, try not to see those flyers. That was a toey miss. I'm interested to see what miss. that does. Yeah, you see smash drop down. Smash came down a little bit for you. Right. Yeah. Dope. Again, see? Toey miss, 187. The other one peered, 189. Beautiful. Ball speed still at 137, carrying at 190. Oh, dude, these are beautiful, bro. That was really toey. Little toey there. What did he get out of that one? What was the ball speed on that, bud? Really toey. That ball speed's going to be 137, 190. He's still carrying at 190, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, Sp spinning at 62. If this is the toe miss on this, I'm stoked. Okay. All right, I just tried a little bit with this four iron, this blade. I think this is the last blade I'm going to go up to. And the three iron's going to be a little fatter club, a little bit more forgiving. But I just hit some like kind of thin, which obviously user error, but like results wise, it didn't really do a whole lot. But like I felt like it was just so much worse, which. I don't really mind that, honestly. Just like more feedback on all these shots. Pretty good. Yeah, more feedback without having to hit a bunker shot yeah. on your next shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got two options, okay. you know, that would be more forgiving. The pro, hollow behind the face. The faces, you know, got our super thin, high strength carpenter steel face where it flexes. Yeah. It's a little bit wider sole, lower center of gravity. Kind of like a utility iron that okay. you have. It's just not as wide as a utility or as long as a utility. The CB iron, more one piece, even though there's 
you know, multiple materials going on to try mm. and move the center of gravity in the middle of the head. Mm. It's going to have a lower CG and slightly more forgiving head than the muscle back. Not as low as this one though, right? Not as low as this one and not as fast as this one. Right. So if you want your three iron to kind of have the potential to go the farthest. I mean, looking down at this guy, this guy, it like looks like a utility. Like, do you, do it's you like a mini iron? utility iron, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, right. it's a pretty cool club. <laughs> that one was sent. Yeah, it was 152 ball speed. Yeah. That's a good one to look at. You know, it's 239. Is that, um, how's the height? That's kind of strong, but I mean, if you're going to hit a three iron, that's what a lot of folks look for the three iron to do. Apex Pro starts a degree stronger than, you know, if you had the blade three iron. It's a little more of a distance club in general, both with the the cup face, it's, which is, you know, what adds a little ball speed and drops a little spin. And it's got the stronger loft. So I have seen some players do that want the three iron to kind of fly like their, their, the rest of their set in terms of they want to climb and land at a similar land angle. They'll take that, bend to the degree weak. All right, y'all, so this is the test we're doing right now. Is This is a half inch shorter than what I currently have. Yep. And this one is regular. The actual stiff. one. It's stiff. Oh, this one is stiff? Mm -hmm. Yep. But we would get the extra stiff, put in the actual iron face that we choose to go with. Even with the half inch shorter, that club head speed stays above 100. I'm happy with it. That's pretty solid right I'm there, keeping that spin that. up, right? Wow. That's really good. Head speed, ball speed still looking solid. I mean, it spins in the right window, right in between 61 and 71-ish. I kind of like the half inch shorter, like I just feel more in control. Right. It feels nicer. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel like I can be a better golfer, you know, dude? That's what we want, Bobby. We want exactly. We want the best results possible for you. So I'm between, so essentially I'm between the Apex CB and the Apex Pro. Okay. Is that, two. is that, are those only two? No, no, I was going to say, you're stuck between the two? It's kind of, I mean, dude, I'm not really good enough. I can't. You can also do a combo play. So, like, let's say if you're comfortable playing to a seven iron, you yeah. do seven, eight, nine pitch approach in CB. Yes, and you sir. say, hey, need a little more help with my six, five, four. We can always do the pros, six, five, four. So that's an option. We can do a little combo play there. My initials are TCB. I gotta have TCBs in the bag. Yeah, you wanna I'm, do? I mean, if you can. I'm down to send a combo. You yeah. Wanna do a combo? I think I think I definitely am gonna need the forgiveness on the four and five. Yeah. I, I know that for a fact. Okay. Look at how beautiful that is. Money. It is, it is like, I'm sure you understand, you like hitting the ball far and fast, dog. I'm at a point now where it's like, you take half an inch off the shaft, you do lose a couple miles per hour at club head speed and some ball speed and all that. But it's like, there's there's no feeling, I'm sure you guys know watching this, when that ball leaves the club face and it's just tracking towards the hole, you you can give up four to five yards and have that feeling more often. So I think that's the point I'm at. Do a little bit better. No, did you see? We can't talk about it on camera, but did you think? Are you sticking to similar stuff? Or? Yeah, I'm probably going to stick to similar club because I just, the best golf I ever played was with those clubs. That's what I was, was going to say. Because like... the last time I, I feel like the clubs fitted me, or I fitted the clubs, and then this time I feel like the clubs are fitting me. That makes sense because I, I couldn't consistently hit a ball. Basically, what I did was from key wedge to six iron, I went with a little bit different irons that are these, and then from there up, which is where I struggled to hit. Like out of the rough, or sometimes I just miss the ball and it's not good. I, we're going with a little bit more forgiving clubs up to a four iron. Are you doing like a hybrid set or, or like a mixed set? or? No, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to keep all the irons, the CBs, new Apex CBs, which are absolutely beautiful. And they are, or they're bent strong a little bit. I have the these 105s right now, but I think we're going to move up to the 125 gram shafts. But I think I'm going to keep the 105s because I was just hitting this and it's a very, very consistent spin rate for me. It was at 60. 6,800, 6,900, and then like 7,000. So it's very, very consistent spin rate with these guys. So, you know, they're interchangeable and whatnot. So, but they're beautiful. I love the CBs. They feel really, really good. I'm super excited. We're also going to be trying a fun little utility iron. I, I love hitting two irons. They're a lot of fun. So they're going to fix me up with one of those, and I'm going to try that out as well. Yeah, I feel like this driver's been, yeah. even though I didn't get fitted for it, I feel like it's been pretty funny. Well, I think because regardless, you can see when, like, it looks good and it's yeah. doing what you want. And exactly. All, all I'm doing is confirming everything in terms yeah. of data. So exactly, that's I mean, that's I, mean I haven't really seen the numbers on it. I probably got a month, about a month ago okay. or more. And just look at the ball flight; everything has looked look good. I haven't seen the numbers, but yeah, like you said, actually seeing the numbers though kind of confirms that. I'll look through the turf for you. Nice on the pull swing. That's what I'm noticing. Actually, really good. I thought I would dig a little more, but it's not. Yeah, not a full swing. Do you have a 60 with you or no? Yeah, I just want to go try it around the greens. Yeah. That's my biggest.
since My biggest thing is I've, I've only hit it. Yeah. If you've got more green to work with, you still pulling 60 using 56? Uh, it depends. I like hitting 60 a lot, though. I just, I like getting crafty with it. Hit it high, hit it low with different. Yeah. It's going through nice. Yeah, it is. That's what I like. I actually do really like this a lot. I didn't have a C grind in my 56, but I like it. Michael, you want to come with me to the green? Yeah. I'm going to hit a couple nippers around the green. We are going with a hybrid set, kind of like I put together myself with the paradigms <laughs> and the apexes, but this time we're taking it a step up. We are going four, five, six, and seven iron, probably in the apex pros. Correct. Yep. And then we are going eight, nine pitching wedge, A wedge, which is a gap wedge, in uh, the CBs. Correct. The TCBs. The, TC, the, TC, the TCBs, TCBs, the 21s, and then the CBs of this year. Yes, sir. And, and then. then Oh, gonna, sorry, I was going to say, we're going to go half an inch shorter as well for you. Get that dispersion down through there. All, through all those clubs. All those clubs. All those clubs. Is that going to happen in like sand wedge and lob wedge too? We well, can. Um, if you feel like you do bend down quite a bit, we don't have to. Okay. If you, if you think that setup's kind of good for you, you feel like you're in a good athletic spot. I tell you right now, dude, that 58 degrees is the best wedge I've ever oh, had. Oh, the 12X? That thing's we staying in there until the grooves come off. But that's so, the update for you. Little toey. Yeah, I was going to say, a little toey, right? A little, little chunky, but this is going to be interesting, right? A little chunky toe. So you hit that five iron, 200 as a miss. Parentheses, right? Miss. I'll take that, dude. That's flush. Do you want to start moving on to your three wood now? Do you want to try and fix that up for you? I'm down for three wood. Yeah, I'm down awesome for three wood. That. Thank cool. you. That's year I went with just whatever this is, a normal paradigm. Same. I like the triple diamond. You like the triple diamond? I like triple diamond. I've been hitting because sure. I've been borrowing three woods when I play. The triple diamond is beautiful. Cool. So when you're playing three wood, what do you mainly use it for? Like going for reaching par fives, mainly off the tee, maybe a little bit of oh, both? It's off the tee on some holes where obviously I got to stay short of something. And then... All right. I mean, are you like raving about getting a new three wood or like, would you consider maybe yeah. like a like three iron maybe or even five wood or can i do both is that try it out yeah do you want to just see our options dude i got like 17 clubs in my bag already let's do it we can do we can do utility okay, <laughs> we can okay. Do utility in three wood like said it once i'll say it again sean is a g dog sean's a g bro so what i decided on go with the three iron pro so it's kind of a fatter head bit more springy off the face as well so it's, it's a little bit hot but we're gonna add two degrees loft on it um, go half degree upright kind of get that start line working a little bit more to the left the rest of the irons I'm just gonna go all MB's blades one degree upright because I want to try to get that start line a little bit more to the left it was kind of these blades were kind of starting a little bit to the right like I mean half a degree and then also drifting a little bit more to the right as well with my fade and so adding that one degree I think really helped with that kind of dispersion get it a little tighter so these clubs look really good. I'm excited. Oh, that ripped. All right, well, I think I got my wedges dialed. I think I know what I'm getting. I'm getting these things right here. It's actually what I already have, but I'm just gonna get the new updated version, so. So let's yeah. get to hit some shots. Kinda wanna see what your launch and spin windows are. And awesome. Just wanna see, does it have a dot yeah. in there? Just yes, sir. Yes, does, sir. perfect. Cool. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's gonna be fun, dude. I can just feel it. And then you gotta back to Oh my gosh. I, I'll take it, please. I'll take it, please. <laughs> I'll just take it, please. 121 head speed, and then ball speed, 171. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it, please. Car carrying it. So wait, Thank you. this is iron fitting, but you got a dude. I got paradigm it. and a U Dub. <laughs> dude, Sean and Johnny always hook it up. Chaos. It was, it was. I was over here. You know, I come in here. It just becomes a speed training session. They had to <laughs> dial me back, bro. Like they were taking half inch off clubs. They were increasing lofts. At first, I was, I was a bit reluctant. I'm not gonna lie. But then I see how the ball flies. I'm like, that's fun to watch. So I liked it. No, you guys did did great last year. I'm excited for this stuff this year, dog. Oh, we're excited. Let's super, super excited. It's always a pleasure to have you guys in here. Always I appreciate you. Yeah, you know? anytime. Thank you, dude. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you, dude. But yeah, iron fitting, I got three wood and utility yeah. as well. I kind of double dip. I <laughs> double dip. I'm sleepy. He's just comfy, dude. How do you fall asleep like this? <laughs> I'm worried he's actually awake. He's just going to jump scare all of us. Oh, oh damn, dog! <laughs> 